hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new on my channel my name is stella i'm an education and lifestyle youtuber based in Wari, nigeria i welcome you guys to my channel once again if you're a returning subscriber thank you for tuning in and if you're just subscribing to my channel if you're a new subscriber thank you for subscribing to my channel and i welcome you specially to my channel i hope you enjoy being on my channel guys and if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed what are you doing please click that subscribe button it is a red button which is down there below and it is absolutely free and by so doing you'll be supporting my channel also please click the subscribe button and if you want to get notifications Whenever a new video pops up on my channel, you can click the bell, which is right next to the subscribe button. Whenever I, a new, I post a new video, you get notified first. So guys, welcome once again. In today's video, just like the title suggests, I want to talk about what has suddenly become the order of the day, which is online teaching and learning, or you can call it e-teaching and learning. You guys already know that I am a university lecturer, so now that we're on lockdown and all of that, my university is actually engaged in online teaching so our students are still very much engaged and we are still very much working so what that means is that i teach online so i just want to talk about my experience so far as an online teacher and online teaching and learning generally because as i'm teaching some people are learning and i also have some sort of online courses that i also um, take like I am learning right now. So I just want to talk about my experience in this whole virtual learning thing and Mostly my experience and that has to do with uh, my, The challenges that I have been facing so far and how I'm able to tackle these challenges and What generally what I just think about the online teaching So if you're interested in this video and I know you'll be interested, please keep watching Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the most important thing about the online teaching, the internet itself. In fact, technology has made things so sweet and easy. Sometimes I try to actually imagine if we were not technologically advanced to this point, what would have been the fate of students now that we are on lockdown? That lockdown that we don't even know how long is going to last we don't pray for it to last longer than is bearable, but honestly, we don't know how long it's going to last. Uh, imagine what would have been the fate of students. Maybe everybody would have just been at home, not doing anything. You can't take any online classes, nothing. It, it should, I don't know. I don't know what it would have been like, honestly. If you have an idea what it, it would be like or it would have been like, you can definitely leave a comment for me in the comment section. Let's just know. Let's try to go back. What if there was any, nothing like internet? What would have been our fate now that we're on lockdown? So yeah, let's talk about the internet with regards to this online teaching. Um, of course, I'm teaching online from Nigeria. So when we talk about internet with respect to online teaching, the experience is not a very sweet one. It's not palatable. <laughs> it's not an experience that we enjoy. There are some days that the network would just be horrible. There are days that you just get frustrated because the network, your your, the, your network is just terrible on that very day. Yeah, I must give credit to the fact that there are also days where the network connection is very cool. So you're able to deliver your lectures at the end of your own students, like at their own end. The network is also good. So that day will be so beautiful. You're enjoying your online class and all of that. But the days when the internet is bad eh? the day the network is bad you will just get frustrated or the day the internet is bad at your own at your students and i've had times where my students internet will be so bad and you don't just know what to do like they're telling you ma we're not hearing you oh ma the network is kind of bad i can barely you know i can barely even see the 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 lecture notes you're sharing or the presentation you're just tired. Like, you're like, you get frustrated. What's going on? What am I supposed to do? Can I just put my hand into this screen and bring out these students so that I can talk to them face to face? You know? So that's one about the internet. Another thing is data subscription. <laughs> we know how. That's my daughter in the background. We know how expensive data can be in Nigeria. For me, I feel like data is expensive. 
I've lived in India where I saw the very, very big difference between the cost of data over there and here. While I was doing my master's in India, internet was the least of my worries. I had access to Wi-Fi and my Wi-Fi subscription was, in fact, was nothing compared to my income then. It, it, internet was, so internet was the least of my worries when, while I was there because it was cheap. It was cheap. But here in Nigeria, internet, data subscription is 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 expensive is expensive honestly so i don't know whether i don't know the real data that, that i'm supposed to be subscribing to i don't know maybe the data plans i'm using but to the best of my knowledge data subscription is expensive in nigeria so that is one of the serious issues that we have or i have in this online teaching thing because okay fine maybe on my own part i'm able to subscribe but what about my students they may not be able to afford these things and even when they okay let's say you subscribe this month how many classes you're gonna have next month again you keep subscribing this is a parent that must have paid fees and all of that and then you go and start disturbing your parent again that you want data you want data you want data like the amount of data you, you spend now that you're that like now that you're on lockdown based on the teaching and learning thing online is totally different from what the students may have been spending when they were we were not on lockdown, when they were just having their normal physical classes. So these are the issues. Now, another thing is motivation. There are some days that you don't just have the morale to go on this online thing. Like you're talking to somebody that you cannot, you cannot feel, if you get what I mean. You can't feel them. You just know that you're seeing them on the screen. It's not like when I was in physical class that, uh, as I'm teaching my students, I'm holding them or anything, but you can actually feel them. You guys are in the same location. You feel your one another's presence in that location. Like no matter how you see, there's always an emotional connection between a teacher and the students. So you are struggling to get that emotional connection online. Like you're looking at your students on the screen. You're struggling with it. You you cannot really tell what your student is actually going through when you are looking at him on the screen. <laughs> So it's it's a big struggle. You're just trying to feel the, uh, the 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 students. The students are also trying to feel you. So at the end of the day, some days you don't have that motivation. You're not motivated enough to want to actually be very much engaged in that class. So you know you begin to beg your students, please, are you there? Like, can you people even hear me? Some days they get tired of yes, ma, no, ma, because that's the only thing they keep saying. But at least if it was the physical class. Even if they don't say yes, I can look at them and tell mm, my students are confused, my students are lost, or they are they understand what I'm saying, the flow and all. So it's <laughs> it's not easy. Like I feel like one of my superpowers now is the fact that I teach online. Like laugh for me. <laughs> because you struggle with these things and some days when you're very successful, you feel so powerful. Like, wow, I did this. Like I, I did it today was a blast <laughs> so guys that's my experience but then by and large i think it's a good idea i think we should we are grateful for this opportunity of this time to to be able to have online classes to be able to teach online to be able to receive classes online without having to miss a whole lot because of the lockdown so we're grateful for this design if you're a student and you're watching me and you you are involved in online learning please take it seriously do all what you can it's a challenge the whole world is facing it's not just peculiar to you it's not peculiar to nigeria everybody around the world feels the same way we are just earnestly praying that this whole thing get uh, over and so that we can go back to normalcy like you guys i miss the normal lifestyle <laughs> so that we can go back to normalcy and we'll all be fine again but then just keep hopes alive just keep doing your thing keep encouraging yourself wake up in the morning and be self-motivated to do this thing knowing fully well that the teacher or the lecturer is not just trying to punish you but it's for your own good and if you're my student watching me please <laughs> You need to stay motivated because I need to be motivated by you guys. <laughs> so guys, yeah, that's my experience so far teaching online. And if you've been teaching online, please tell me your own experience. And if you're a student anywhere in the world who has been learning online, you can also tell share, share your experience with me. My viewers will also want to 
read your experience please do that by dropping me your comments in the comments section once again please give my video a thumbs up by clicking the like button it helps my video it makes it more visible and please if you haven't subscribed can you please just take a moment click the subscribe button it is the red button there it's free of charge okay please click the subscribe button and you can share my videos so that uh it gets the right audience and then people get to know about my channel i'll see you guys in my next video bye